Hey traders, welcome back to another daily profit and loss recap video. Today is Friday, June 30th. I just finished up trading for the morning and I locked in $925 in profits with three trades, two of them being winning trades and one of them being a losing trade. And in this video, we're going to break down these trades, talk about my thought process behind them so that hopefully you can take something from my trading and apply it to your own. Now, the first trade that I wanna talk about today is with the stock BXRX. As we can see, it is currently halted for volatility up here. It's having a big spike after trading sideways for most of the morning. And the reason that this was on my radar is because first and foremost, it was a gap up this morning in pre-market. And because of that, it was automatically on our watch list in the Market Master Group for a gap and go. If we take a look at the morning posts, we can see that there was an opening range breakout level of about 68 cents posted for BXRX. Now I didn't trade the opening range breakout with this stock. I actually waited a little bit later in the morning because we can see it was pretty choppy at the market open. There was a few opportunities for very quick scalps from the opening range breakouts, but there wasn't really any follow through from that. So to me where things got interesting is when I noticed that there was all these false breakouts in the morning, um, you know, they briefly are breaking above the previous high and then immediately getting rejected back down. Typically, that would be a sign of weakness for a stock. However, it can actually be seen as a sign of strength if those false breakouts are followed up by consolidation periods or followed up by higher lows. Because in theory, after a stock has a false breakout and rejects straight back down, it should continue to fade back down, it should start to make new lows, and it should start to reverse into a downtrend. So if it's continuing to hold its gains, that is actually a sign of strength. So with all of that being said, I noticed this starting to happen with BXRX and I posted still more upside potential for BXRX today in my opinion, as it was consolidating here around VWAP right at about 66 cents. At the same time, I took a starter position. I took 5,000 shares at a price of about 67 cents. And sure enough, volume started to pick back up significantly. It was finally able to have a clean breakout through the 70 cent area ripped back up through the pre-market highs and ended up hitting a high so far today of $1.30. So it ran almost 100% so far from that post in the Market Master Group. And I was able to make a solid profit on that trade. I locked in $425 in profits. As you guys know, I tend to sell a little bit early. One of the things that I need to improve on in my own personal trading is being a little bit more patient with my winning trades. But I let this run back up into the pre-market highs up here and I was locking in profits up in the high 70s. Obviously hindsight is 2020, so knowing now that this ran all the way to 130, I would have liked to have seen this as a sign of strength, that it spiked up into the pre-market highs and then kind of consolidated there for a few minutes, traded sideways, and pretty much immediately started to break back out to new highs, and I would have liked to have added into that position at that time to have a larger investment in this stock. But again, hindsight is 2020, so I'm happy with my $425 in profits from that trade. We also had some traders in the group make some really solid profits from this trade as well. GWAL locked in a 50% additional gain for the day in 23 seconds from BXRX. We also had Murph who had a quick $137 scalp. Not 100% sure if T$ dollar sign ended up trading BXRX, but they met their goal for the day. They had five green days in a row with $1,147 in profits. Really solid way to end the week. So it's great to see our team of traders locking in profits on these trades as well. If you want to hear about these stocks in real time, make sure to join us in the Market Master Group. There's going to be a link down below in the description. Okay, but moving on to the other trades for the day. The other winner for me was CBAY. This was another stock that was gapping up in pre-market. And if I just zoom in here, we can see that there is a pretty clear level of trend line support for most of the morning, including the pre-market session. We get this nice push up at the market open, rejects the $11 area a little bit, pulls back the VWAP into trend support, bounces off it, and then has a nice breakout to $11 plus. If we take a look down here at the daily chart, what you'll notice is that this is not a typical small cap stock. This is not a stock that, you know, six months ago was trading at $10 and now is trading at $1. This is actually a relatively strong stock. It's been in an uptrend overall for the past couple of months. And on top of that, I want to point out also that the stock has an institutional ownership of 76.3%. So that paired with the fact that the daily chart is relatively strong. That is why I was so confident in this trade and that's why I decided to take a bigger than average position size for me to trade the gap and go setup. 
So I initially added into the opening range breakout in the high 1060s. Then once we got this rejection of $11, it pulled back under VWAP and once it started to reclaim VWAP here and push back up, bouncing off of the trend line support, that's when I added some more shares into this trade and I ended up with a total of 2,000 shares and my average cost per share was about $10.70. So I locked in some profits as it initially popped above $11 just in case of a false breakout. I wanted to make sure that I was locking in some profits and then I locked in the rest of my profits up at $11.20. The reason for that is because the 52 week high at the time was $11.22. So I wanted to make sure that if there was a rejection of the 52 week high, I was still locking in my profits. And then I didn't have to worry about it turning too much against me. So on that trade, I ended up with $890 in profits. And that was the other winning trade for me today. The last trade that I want to talk about, which was a losing trade for me, was RNLX. RNLX, again, another stock gapping up in pre market. If we take a look at the five minute chart here, we can see it has this big spike up from about $2 per share up to a high of $3.72. It then opens the day at a price of $2.89. So it gave back a lot of those gains from the pre-market session. And when that happens, I like to keep these types of stocks on my radar in case they start to reverse back up and squeeze back up towards those pre-market highs at the market open. So the opening range breakout level for this stock is going to be the high of this first five minute candle, which is a price of $3. So once it starts to break above $3 per share, that is when you would typically look to buy into the opening range breakout. And like I mentioned in yesterday's video, no strategy is going to work 100% of the time. And even though this pushes up to a high of $3.17, if you weren't very, very quick with exiting out of this trade, there just wasn't enough room for profit on this breakout. And that's why I ended up taking a loss on this trade. I bought into that opening range breakout. It pretty much immediately within a minute or so gets rejected straight back down and ends up dumping back under the VWAP and starts to make new lows. So that was a pretty quick trade. Thankfully, I kept my position size small and I ended up with a loss on that trade of $389, which brought my overall profits for the day to $925. So a pretty solid way to end the week. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found some value in it. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you want to hear about these stocks that I'm talking about and trading in real time, as well as work with our team of traders, have access to our live scanner streams, our day trade and swing trade alerts, our detailed trade plans, and so on and so forth, make sure to join us in the Market Master Group. There's going to be a link for that down below in the description. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and good luck with your trading.